Dear friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our eighth lesson on vectors, whereby you are looking at our example number eight, which is a past cases question done in 2015, paper two, question number 16. So the question reads that the position vectors of points PQ and R are OP is negative 3, 6, OQ is 2, 1, then OR is 4, negative 1. So we are required to show that the points PQ and R are collinear. Remember to prove collinearity, we need to show that uh, any two vectors formed from the three given points, uh, that one of the vectors can be expressed as a scalar multiple of the other. Then the other point we need to prove is that uh, there is a point which is being uh, shared uh, between uh, the vectors that will be formed. Therefore, uh, let me sketch the information that I'm given. So we have the three points. I'm going to arrange them in the order that I'm given from P to Q to R. So uh, here we have our point uh, P. Then, of course, in between we have uh, point Q. Then on the further end we have uh, the point R. So we are given the position vectors of um, OP, OQ, and OR. Therefore, when we talk of position vectors, it means we have to connect them to uh, the origin. Therefore, uh, let me connect them to the origin uh, this way. Then also Q should be connected to uh, the origin, which is our point 0, 0. So this is our origin. So this is what we are calling vector uh, OP, uh, which has the coordinates. We are given the column vectors as negative 3, uh, 6. So this is our OP. Uh, OP has the coordinates of, uh, that is position vectors of negative 3, 6. Then you are also given uh, the position vectors for OQ. Uh, OQ is from O towards Q, which has uh, position vectors of uh, 2, positive 1. Then OR is from O to R, which has position vectors of 4, then negative 1. 4, negative 1. So we are told to show that PQ and R are collinear. Therefore, uh, for us to achieve that, I'm going to... I find the value of vector uh, PQ, then I also find a uh, vector QR so that I can check whether there is a scalar multiple between those vectors. So I'll start by finding the vector uh, PQ. So vector PQ can be found through uh, uh, taking the coordinates of uh, Q, which is OQ, then I subtract uh, OP. So of course this will be given by, so vector OQ, I already have it as a 2, 1. So its column vectors are, uh, we have 2, then positive 1. Then we also have minus, the position vector of um, P is actually negative 3, 6, uh, negative uh, 3. Then we have positive uh, 6, negative 3, 6. So if I subtract these two, I'm going to get uh, my PQ uh, being equal to 2 minus minus 3. I'm going to get positive um, 5. Then 1 minus 6, I'm going to get negative uh, 5. So this will give me negative 5. So that is PQ. Then you also need to find a vector QR. So QR will be given by the vector QR. We'll simply take uh, OR. Then, of course, we subtract uh, OQ. So it will be OR minus OQ. So if I substitute uh, the column vectors for R, Column vector for R was uh, 4, negative 1. So this is 4, then negative 1, then minus the column vector for OQ. Of course, OQ is um, uh, 2, 1. Uh, so this is 2, 1. So if I subtract these two, I'm going to get the following. So this is going to give me, uh, so I'm going to have 4 minus 2, I'm going to get positive 2. Then negative 1 minus 1, I'm going to get negative uh, 2. So this will give me a uh, 2, negative 2. Then um, I can separate uh, my working, of course, using a, a straight line this way. So uh, we need to find, um, we are told to show that PQ and R are collinear. So I'm going to say that uh, PQ, my vector PQ should be equal to uh, the scalar, of course, multiplied by the other vector uh, QR, so that we see whether there is uh, one can be expressed as a scalar multiple of the other. So this will be given by a vector PQ. I found it as 5, negative 5. So this will be a 5, negative a 5. Of course, uh, this is a column vector. Then should be equal to a K uh, multiplied by vector QR. 
my vector qr is 2 negative 2 so if i open this bracket i'm going to have a 5 negative 5 so this will be 5 negative 5 uh, which should be equal to uh, if i open this bracket i'm going to have uh, 2k so this will be 2k then of course k times negative 2 i'll get negative uh, 2k then to find the value of k i'm simply going to equate the elements in the set position so 5 should be uh, equated to uh, 2k so if i take 5 uh, being equal to 2k of course i'll divide through by 2 i also divide through by 2 so this one simply shows us that the value of k will actually be equal to uh, 5 over 2 so k will be 5 over 2 remember you can also test using the other uh, corresponding uh, elements so that we are going to have the following so if i use these other uh, elements that is negative 5 and negative 2k i'm going to have negative 5 uh, which should be equal to the negative of 2k then if i divide through by negative 2 i also divide through by negative 2 it simply means that the value of k will be equal to uh, 5 over 2 because negative divided by negative will give you a positive so uh, since the values of uh, k is the same i'm going to rewrite uh, the equation uh, pq uh, is equals to uh, kqr then of course i'm going to substitute the value of k here so it means that pq uh, is actually equal to my k is 5 over 2 of uh, qr so this one simply shows that um, qr can be expressed as a scalar multiple of uh, that is pq can be expressed as scalar multiple of qr showing that um showing that or hence uh, this one simply shows us that uh, vector pq uh, the vector pq is parallel to uh, the vector qr since one can be expressed as a scalar multiple of the other then there's a point which is being shared and we are going to say that and uh, point q is common or point q is shared the point q is uh, shared between the two vectors so you can see that uh, point uh, q is here similarly point q is also here therefore it is being shared uh, hence or we can conclude we can say therefore uh, therefore the points p q and r p q and r are actually collinear they are collinear yeah because one can be expressed as a scalar multiple of the other then there's a point which is being shared next we move to our um, second that is our example number nine which is also a past cases equation done in uh, 2011 paper 2 question number 13 it reads that the vectors op is 6i plus j and oq is negative 2i plus 5j a point n divides pq internally uh, in the ratio 3 to 1 find the vector pn in terms of i j uh, that is i and j so i'm simply going to sketch so that we see uh, what is happening to these particular uh, vectors so of course um, i'll assume that they are in a straight line such that we have uh, the point p here uh, then we also have the point q here then because it is an internal division it means that n must be in between uh, the points p and q so this is what we are calling uh, n which is uh, internally dividing pq in the ratio of 3 to 1 so the direction of the ratio is um, from p to q so this ratio is 3 to uh, 1 then uh, because these are position vectors i'm going to connect them to the origin so i'll connect p uh, to the origin which is the point zero zero then i also connect uh, q to the origin then similarly i also connect n to the origin which is the uh, point zero zero so this will be from the origin i'm going to connect it to uh, my point n so this is what we are calling our origin the point zero zero then this is what we are calling the vector uh, op which of course is given as six uh, i then of course plus j then this is what we are calling vector oq which is given as negative uh, two i then of course plus uh, 5j so uh, point n divides pq internally we are told to find a uh, pn so to find vector pn we need to have the coordinates of p and those of n of course the coordinates of p we can already find them because we are already given uh, the position vector of o p or of p then we need to find the coordinates of n for us to find coordinates of n we are going to apply what we call the ratio uh, theorem 
remember the ratio theorem uh, requires that if you have uh, for example uh, points maybe uh, a then we have uh, b then we have a point c such that b is dividing uh, the line ac uh, then of course uh, if we join them to the uh, origin such that we are talking of position vectors if this is our origin uh, o then um, suppose the ratio of division is m uh, to n then of course this is our vector o a this will be o b then of course this will be o c therefore uh, if you want to find the um, uh, vector o b the one that is in the middle you simply take m divided by the total ratio which is m plus n then you multiply with the opposite vector which is vector uh, o c then you add n divided by total ratio m plus n then you multiply with the opposite vector which is vector o a so applying the same concept here you are going to have the following so because o n is in the middle i'm going to say that uh, the vector o n uh, must give us the following so we'll take this particular ratio which is a uh, three divided by the total ratio of pq is actually a uh, three plus one which is four then this one should be multiplied with the opposite uh, vector which is vector oq so if i multiply with oq uh, it should uh, give me then i'm going to add the other ratio is one divided by total ratio is three plus one which is four it should be multiplied with the opposite vector which is vector uh, op so this is applying the uh, ratio theorem so this should give us uh, so this will be uh, 3 over 4 uh, 3 over 4 then into uh, the vector uh, oq it can be expressed this way so because we have um, oq we were given that uh, vector oq uh, was equals to negative 2i then of course plus uh, 5j negative 2i uh, plus 5j Remember, this one can be written as a column vector uh, such that, remember, if uh, this is OQ, it's just the same as saying XI plus uh, YJ, such that the X coordinate will actually be uh, negative 2. So this is negative 2. Then the Y coordinate, of course, will be uh, positive 5. The Y coordinate is positive 5. So this can be written as negative 2, positive 5. Therefore, if I substitute it here, I'm going to have a negative 2, which is my vector OQ, negative 2, then positive 5, uh, this way. Then I'm going to add a quarter, so multiplied by a quarter, then into brackets. Uh, so the vector, that is uh, the vector OP, uh, vector OP, I'm also given vector OP, uh, whereby I'm told that, so I'm given that uh, vector OP is equal to, so I'm told that OP uh, was equal to 6i, uh, 6i plus j. This is the same as saying that OP is equal to uh, xi plus yj. Therefore, the coefficient of i will be the x, then of course the coefficient of j, which is 1, will give us the coordinate of y. Therefore, OP in terms of column vector, it can be written as uh, x is 6, then of course uh, y will be 1, the coefficient of j. So this will be positive 6, then of course we have uh, 1. Then um, if I open the brackets, I'm going to get the following. So I'm going to have a 3 over 4 multiplied by negative 2, so this will be 3 over 4, then it should be multiplied with negative 2. Similarly, a 3 over 4 should be multiplied with positive 5 so that is the first bracket then you are going to add the second bracket we are going to have the following uh, a quarter i should multiply 6 then of course a quarter should also multiply 1 then um, this is uh, going to give us uh, the following let me separate my working and clean uh, this area here <coughs> so we are going to have uh, the following so it means our vector o n uh, o n will be equal to so this is going to give me negative 6 over 4 so this will give me the first bracket i'll get uh because 3 by negative 2 i'll get negative 6 uh, so negative 6 over 4 then the lower one will give me 3 by 5 i'll get 15 uh, so this will be a uh, 15 over 4 15 over 4 which should be added to uh this one should be added to the following uh, this will be a quarter times 6 i'll get simply 6 over 4 uh, 6 over 4 
then a quarter times one i'll simply get a quarter so this one will give me a quarter so if i add these two i'm going to get the following negative six over four plus six over four that one is going to give me zero so this one will give me zero then of course uh if i take uh 15 15 over 4 then i add to a quarter uh 15 over 4 plus a quarter i'm going to get a positive 4 so this one is giving me a positive 4 so actually this is our position vector for o n but the question wants p n so if we want to find p n uh, so the vector p n should be given by We'll take the coordinate of uh, n, which is actually a uh, vector o n, then we subtract the coordinate for uh, p, which will be equal to, uh, we have already computed uh, o n, our uh, o n is 0, uh, 4, so this is uh, 0, uh, 4, then I'm going to subtract our coordinate for uh, o p, remember o p was, uh, we are already given o p on the question, so op was uh, 6i then plus j so it means that its uh, column vector will be 6 then the coefficient of j of course is 1 so this is uh, going to give us the following so this will be uh, 0 minus 6 i'll get negative uh, 6 then 4 minus 1 i'm going to get positive uh, 3 so this is the column vector for pn but the question wanted the answer to be in terms of i and j so it simply means that our pn uh, the vector pn will be given by negative 6i then of course we are going to add uh, 3j plus 3j so in our next class we'll be looking at further examples on vectors thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson i do not take it for granted in case you are new to the channel kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you.